Hello and welcome to the next Core Features and Navigation video with Tyrone McGrath. I'm going to be taking you through activities. CRM provides users with the ability to manage activities around their contacts and casework records. The types of activities that you can perform within CRM are the typical activities that you need to be doing on a daily basis, such as creating tasks for completion, appointments that need to be managed, sending out faxes and phone calls and emails, and even capturing campaign responses. So those can all be managed through CRM and I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video. Okay, so we're within IAM Group's CRM online deployment and I'm within the activities area. The reason I'm within here is because this is one of the areas where you can create activities from. The benefits of the activities area is that you can see all the pending activities that need to be done for your work as usual. So if any activities have been assigned to you, you'll notice them in this area here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a scenario of where uh, you would like to create a phone call activity for one of your customers to remind yourself that you need to give this customer a call. So to create an activity, I'm within the workplace area and I'm within the activity subfolder and at the top on the ribbon we can see that we have a number of options available for different activities that we'd like to create. So I'm going to go ahead and click phone call. This is going to open up a blank form for creating a phone call. We can see it's already pre-filled in the sender to CRM training, that's who I'm logged in as. Um, and also we need to set the recipient to the person that we want to receive this phone call. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the lookup and find and I'm going to look for contact instead of account. So let's make a phone call to Alison Davies. We can type in the phone number and we can also say whether or not the direction is incoming or outgoing. So if you can see if I click on incoming it's going to swap the sender to Alison Davis. So I'm going to go and click on outgoing as my option because I'm going to be the one sending the phone call. So the subject is to call Alison and I can add other information within this area here. Now down below this regarding field and note that this is the same for all activity types you'll have this regarding field. This is where we can set what this phone call is regarding. So we've already said that the recipient is Alison Davis. So when we go into Alison Davis's record we will see that this phone call, this pending activity phone call will be there. But we can also relate. Of course it's not necessarily just Alison that you're ringing this, um, you're, you're making the phone call about. It may be in relation to some ongoing casework, and this is how we can build up that spider's web of, of relationships. So I'm going to click on uh, the lookup for re regarding, and in the look for option, you can see here I have an, a number of options, and all of these are options are the different record types within CRM. I'm going to go ahead and search for cases, and I'm going to say that this um, phone call is regarding um, this complaint. We can also specify when this activity is due, which is a very useful feature. So let's say that it's due for Friday. And the time should be at first thing on 9 o'clock. And we can also set subcategories and categories if we want to. OK, so we've made that activity. And I can save and close this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what this activity looks like within CRM. So I'm just going to refresh this activities page. I'm going to refresh CRM and go back into activities. First of all, you'll notice that the phone call to call Alison has gone into my pending activities. Also, if I go into contacts and look for Alison Davis, so if I just go into the search box here and type in Alison and go into Alison's record, we can see on the left hand side, on the left hand nav within activities, that there's this pending phone call for Alison. So we're building up that, uh, those relationships. Also, if I go into services and go into cases and I find that um, related regarding record for this phone call, so I believe it was this case here. 
If we go into activities for this um, complaint record, we can see that that related phone call has gone in there as well to call Alison. So you can see how we can relate to more than one record. Now in my opinion, I believe that it's much easier to create activities from, for a different method. I'm going to show you that method now. To do that, let's open up a record that I want to create the activity regarding. So let's say I want to go into this complaint about this delay record and I open up this record and I go to the activities area. Now what I have the option to do is to create a related activity. So I go onto the ribbon at the top and change it to the tab for create related and I can create, I have a number of options here. I can create phone call, letters, all the different activity types. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I want to create uh, an email regarding this um, complaint about the delay. So I click on that. Now the difference being in this method is that you can see that it's pre-filled in a number of fields for me. Not only is it filled in the, the from field, but it's also filled in the to field and the regarding field. The to field is based upon who, own, who is the, the customer that had made that complaint. And the regarding field is the, is the record for which I created the activity from within. So I can just say um, complaint acknowledgement and uh, the description of the email goes here. So I can either save this away so that um, I have it available for me to send at a later date or I have the option here at the top in the ribbon to in fact send this activity. So if I click send what we will see here is when we're within the cases um, record and we go to closed activities we can see that that complaint acknowledgement has been sent. So we've got this 300, what we call a 360 degree view of the records within CRM. We can also go into Swanand, who is the owner of this um, complaint. We just go to the general. And if I click on this uh, on the lookup to Swanand, it's going to now open up Swanand's contact record. And if we go into the closed activities for Swanand, the same complaint acknowledgement email is also linked within Swanand's um, contact record. So it's all about building up that relate, those relationships. So once you've created your activities, it's very important to remember to close those activities down. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into the workplace area and into the activities subfolder. And I'm going to open up that phone call activity that I'd created. I'm going to imag imagine that I'd actually made that phone call to Alison. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that phone call activity. Use the ribbon at the top to close the phone call. I'm going to say that I made the phone call and click OK. That then closes the record down, it puts it into a read-only state. If I click on Alison Davies lookup, so I'm going to shortcut to Alison Davies record here by just clicking on that lookup, and I'm going to go into the uh, closed activities area, we should now see that the phone call has been made to Alison.